Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're all doing well. Got the mind in the right place. If not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So today's episode is a little different. Um, normally I'm kind of talking about mindset and kind of putting your head, you know, if it's not, uh, you know, kind of negative, kind of thinking some positive thoughts, stuff like that. But uh, I had a question um, and a really good conversation kind of back and forth yesterday with a student about uh, rolling with uh, heavier opponents. And so uh, he asked me if I could do an episode on that or something like that. So I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. And so uh, this is basically, you know, really for all my jiu-jitsu practitioners out there, anyone that wants to thinking about doing jiu-jitsu uh, at some point, um, you should go ahead and start. And then uh, when you get to this point, then this kind of pertains to all that. So rolling with heavier opponents, um, rolling with individuals that are, are uh, you know, heavier than you, bigger than you, um, my perspective, my take on that. Me being a smaller individual, I'm about 150 pounds, give or take. Um, just depends on, you know, what I got going on. And, um, you know, that kind of thing. So I've been training for over 20 years, right? And I've been haven't really never really been off the mat besides a few injuries a surgery that I had on, on my knee but besides that um with me training twice a day in the morning and at night Monday through Thursday and then I train once a day on uh, Friday and Saturday um and I've been doing that for so many years that I mean knock on some wood here but um I don't really get hurt like I see a lot of people do or some people that I've seen in the past get hurt because I'm very smart with the individuals that I choose to roll with. Um, you know, when you first start, you kind of feel obligated sometimes when somebody calls you to to train with them, um, regardless of their size, you just kind of go with the flow of things, right? Um, me, after I've seen quite a few individuals getting hurt, coming up through white, blue, purple, brown uh, belt, stuff like that, and then me personally having a bigger, stronger individual in a submission at one time, um, when I was a, maybe I was a purple belt, I'm not sure, purple, brown, um, brown, brown belt, but anyway, I had, a per, I had one of my teammates in a triangle, okay, this wasn't open mat, this wasn't like a tournament or anything, this is someone that I, you know, frequently saw in class, okay, but we didn't, um, train together all that often, like it wasn't like every day, but I mean, we did we did train together. So anyways, I had this individual in a triangle, uh, triangle choke, and was about to finish it. This individual picks me up off the mat. It's my fault, like whatever, I should've hooked the leg, got that argument, you know, to uh, stop someone from picking you up. He didn't really like pick me up where he completely stood up, but he picked me up enough and kind of like, try to like slam me in the mat or whatever um, to kind of shake the triangle apart. Uh, but he spiked me on my head and I heard my neck uh, crack, right? Like a, like a crunch, whatever. And right away you just kind of get that, you know, that scared feeling because it's your neck, you know, it's not a wrist, an ankle, knee, shoulder. I mean, it's your neck. And so um, uh, I was okay. Fortunately, I was okay. It wasn't anything serious, um, just a little sore or whatever like that. But I told myself after that, like, you know, I don't have anything to prove to anyone about, um, and, and people rolled me or they wanted to roll me back then because I was a challenge even being smaller. Um, but at the same time, when you get certain individuals like that, where they just don't want to lose and they don't want to tap, they're going to just, some people will go to any extreme to, um, you know, not make that happen. And so that kind of stuff happened. So anyways, um, ever since then, which was a long time ago, I'm talking in the 2000s, somewhere early 2000s. Um, I just told myself, like, I'm just going to be a lot smarter with who I choose to roll with. And I'm going to deny individuals um, roles. Like, if someone asked me to roll and I see that in the past they're a little kind of, um, you know, crazy when they train, uh, a little wild or just, you know, that much bigger, but they don't know, like, a lot bigger, but they don't really know how to roll with certain individuals. The answer is going to be, no, I'm good. I appreciate it, but I'm going to either, if I have to sit out around, I'll sit out, or I'm or I'm just going to go grab another teammate. And, the, you know, that'll kind of, kind of, um, what's the word, um, kind of rub people the wrong way or whatever, but 
it is what it is. Like, it's my safety. I want to be able to come in. My thought process was like, I want to be able to train tomorrow because what I was used to seeing was the bigger, stronger individuals would maybe not intentionally, but they would somehow crunch up the smaller individual and they get to come back. The bigger individual gets to come back, train the next day. And the smaller individual that got hurt did not, you know, and I just didn't want to be that. I didn't want to be on the couch or come to class and sit on the sidelines and, and watch training when I really didn't have to, because if I was just smarter with who I decided to train with, I'd be able to roll. And so I decided to do that. And so, uh, in my academy, uh, this is, this is where the question that came up yesterday. Cause I asked this individual, like, cause he, he, he moved into this area and he started training with us and he's been there for a while, but apparently wherever he trained at before there really was no weight classes. Like there was no, um, I keep people separated, you know, I'll take, all right, guys, if you're under 160, we're going to, you know, this group over here is going to train together. You know, you're 160, 160, 165 to, you know, whatever, 190 or something like you're going to be over here and then so on and so forth. And I'll kind of break those individuals up because again, it's the safety of the students and I want to see people train and be able to come back the next day, not get crunched up and then get hurt and then they can't come back and train. So, um, and like I told this individual yesterday, you, you know, you should roll with heavier individuals. It's just be smart about it and do it, you know, kind of not so frequent, you know, you know, space it out, man. If you're having, the, I mean, if you just have a small academy and you just got a small group of people you've got to roll with and it's not that big and that you really don't have no choice, you really don't have no choice, but you're going to have to just talk to that, those individuals and be like, Hey, like, you know, Play on the bottom, it'll be a little more technical, like whatever, so that you can train and make it out of there alive. So, um, you know, you're not getting all banged up because like I said, I'm at 46 years old and been training for over 20 years. I feel pretty good. You know, my body is pretty healthy. Um, I can't say that for everyone that I've seen, even in their 20s, and they just kind of started training or maybe got a couple years in and they're all banged up. Like they're all, their bodies are, is just torn apart because they're just not smart with who they, who they decided to train with. And I hear all these stories and stuff like that. So I told this individual, I was like, you do have to know what it feels like to grapple against bigger, stronger, heavier opponents, because that's what jujitsu is made for. Like that's what it's for. But at the same time, you know, if depending on how often you're training, like someone like me that trains every day, um, you know, you got to kind of space that out and, and, you know, not put your body through so much of that, of that stress. Because again, it's just the chances the probabilities of just getting hurt go way up when you're rolling with just individuals like that. Now, this individual is like middle heavy, I think, which is like 190, 195, and the sun's really coming through. Um, and the middle, middle, uh, middle heavy guys, um, like that's a pretty pretty good weight class because they can they can roll with the uh heavier individuals but then they can also roll with the lighter individuals so that's like a really good weight class but if you're like 150 like me it's like you know you're grabbing 200 220 pound guys um you know on a frequent basis you know that's probably not going to work out um in my favor if i'm doing that on a routine basis like that but those middle heavy guys they can they can switch up their training so they can go a little harder, obviously, or a lot harder with the heavier guys. And then they can go, um, you know, play more technical or, or a little lighter with the, the smaller guys and they can get all these different training partners. So um, I have a, one of my black belts, uh, Coach KJ, he's a great example of that because he's a middle, middle heavy guy, but he he's just so technical that when you roll with him, he's not like just thrashing you around or using a lot of strength. Um, he uses jujitsu. Uh, you know, he's got a great guard. He can wrestle, he can pass. He, he just has a really good technical game and he works with all of our students, um, heavier, smaller, white belt, blue belt, doesn't matter. Um, and for me, that's a plus for me because I have another like high level black belt that's heavier like that, that can work and teach and help the heavier guys by rolling with them on a day-to-day -day basis versus me. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just not going to do that. So I'm not going to do that, put my body through that because why? Because I want to keep training. I want to be smart. I want to be able to do this thing for as long as 
I possibly can. And again, I can't do that if I'm just being um, kind of careless with, you know, how I'm training. So uh, in that regard, it's just really good to just be smart with who you pick to train with. Um, you know, you, you, you can get a good feel for that. You can watch people roll and be like, yeah, that's, I'm not, I'm just going to avoid that individual there because you can just see that they're just, you know, kind of crazy the way they train. And then you got other individuals that are heavier and you'd be like, man, they roll pretty smooth for a big, uh, you know, a heavier guy like that. Let me go get some of that and train with that and see what that's like and, and, and learn together and stuff like that. So anyways, um, that's my two cents on that. That's my take on that. Again, coming from someone that has been trained for a very long time, trains every day, okay? Trains a lot. Um, you know, I think, uh, like I said, my body's pretty good. You know, I, I feel really, really good besides a couple of little tweaks and pulls, which everyone's gonna have regardless of how, how long you train or uh, whatever. You're gonna get these little, you know, little tweaks or whatever. But besides that, you know, my body's pretty pretty darn healthy. So, and I take good care of myself. But a lot of that has to do with too, is who I choose as teammates to roll with. I go pretty hard. I like hard training, but again, I'm able to do that because I'm able, I'm, I'm very wise with who I, who I decide to train with. So again, some places are different. They're, like this guy said, there's, there's no weight classes. Like they're going to put you with whoever and doesn't matter. And some people kind of just like, you know, you got to do it because they, they told you to do it. But in the back of your mind, you're not really thinking about the techniques. You're thinking about survival and I don't want to get hurt. And that's not really where you want to train. Like you can't really learn like that because you're just thinking of like, I just got to keep myself safe during this round and get this thing over with versus if you were able to train with people that you feel comfortable with, um, then you can get after it and really let that jujitsu flow right out of you and let the art show, you know? So again, you absolutely should roll with heavier guys or girls, um, depending on who it is, uh, from time to time. Cause you got to know what that, that feeling's like, just like you got to know what the roll with the lighter ones are. Someone smaller, faster, quicker, you know, that moves a lot, what those individuals are. But on a, on a day-to-day -day basis, I would say just, um, it, you know, I'm not gonna roll with guys that are 50 pounds, you know, heavier. You know, I, I kind of give my students like a 25 pound um, weight limit, you know, in, in my mind, if I see two students getting a pair up, I'm like, and if I see one's just a little too much and I can kind of tell what's gonna happen in that round, I'll switch them and I'll throw, I'll put them with other people. But for the most part, that's one of this the thing when the student kind of he, he mentions uh yesterday was like he goes i recognize you 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 switch people a lot yeah i'll switch people if i don't feel like that's gonna pan out the way i the way i think it should um you know i'm gonna i'm gonna switch people up so that they can get a good safe good hard training and and let like i said let the jiu-jitsu flow out of you you know so um you know so how to you know can you should you or you know uh, roll with heavier opponents again the answer is absolutely yes again just be smart and kind of choose wisely and again you can kind of you know I, I got some bigger guys that, that that are really good technical guys that like to play off their back and can work with smaller individuals and they're not gonna they're not gonna hurt anyone but I can't say that for everyone you know so um you know you got to kind of be smart and kind of judge people and stuff like that or just talk to teammates you know like for me when I see a, a, a bigger opponent matched up with a smaller one, you know, I'll tell, I'll tell the bigger one right away, like, hey, pull guard. Like, pull guard, work off your back. Let's see where your game is at on the bottom. Because I already know what it's going to be like on top, you know. So uh, let's see what your bottom game's like. And I'll, I'll instantly make those individuals pull guard and let the smaller person play on top. And if they sweep or whatever, I'll put them right back in that same position and go again. So um, hope that helps. Again, if you have any questions, anyone... You know, drop them in the comments or, you know, post it on the page or message me and I'll be happy to kind of talk about it again. I have a lot of experience uh, competing, um, you know, nutrition, working out, uh, training, obviously. Uh, so I'll be more than happy to share some of my thoughts on, you know, what I think this or that should be with all the experience that I have and be more than happy to help with whatever I can. All right, guys, I get up to the academy, get some work in. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.